Hey guys, I'm back. Do a review on a okay. If you're you're a subscriber, you know that I'm I'm changing out all my cabinet doors uh, for new ones. Had a little incident uh, with the water damage on one of them, so I decided. Well, my wife decided to change out all the doors. Um, I have 24 doors that I'm doing. All the upper door, all the upper uh, doors have three hinges. The lowers have two, and they're the hidden hinges, which are are you know I installed um, back six months ago or a year ago, I don't know, and they're they're the soft closing type. So that's what I'm going to take out of my old doors, put them in my new ones. Now the old, the the new ones did not come you know prepped for for any hardware so that's what we're going to do today uh i'm going to show you i'm going to i'm going to do a review i'm going to do a review on the the drill jig that i purchased from rockler uh woodworking and uh it's a uh, If I didn't have so many doors, I would have went on Amazon and got a jig that cost you know twenty dollars, used it for a door or two. But I'm doing twenty four, and I don't want to have to deal with uh, any mistakes. I don't like making mistakes. I don't like having to go. I don't like doing things twice. So just was the Hetich drill jig for the the hidden hinges. Looking at it is, it's kind of intimidating. Pull it out of the box. It comes with your your chuck for your drill. And it, like I said, it, it, it looks kind of intimidating. But once you set the thing up, it's great. I, I, I've I've already installed two doors and you know I have it set up. There's no errors, there's there's no mistakes that, that could possibly be made. What I did was I've got my first door. I I, I removed the hinges and then I set my depth that came with with this was the first one that I cut and it's too close to the edge so that means that the door would be off centered so I changed that setting and moved it over it worked great the two doors that I installed um, it lined up with the existing holes in the frame and I was super happy with it. One thing that I do not like about it is there's no room, nowhere for the shavings to escape. Um, so what I'm gonna do before I start all of them I'm going to set this in the mill and I'm going to run a pocket right here so at least some of the shavings could come out. I'm thinking about doing one here and doing one here. It's not going to change the integrity of this thing. It's not going to change any any adjustments or, or anything like that. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's let's set this thing up and show you how it works. First, take out the existing. <clears throat> I'm 
that's what happens when you install your hinges on fresh paint. All right, now, set that on the side, go get my new door. So I know that the alignment on my frame, door, uh, cabinet frame, is three inches centered hole. So this is where I'm going to line it up. It's at seven centimeters. And that'll give me my three inches. Okay, so it's very important that you set these cams up against the edge of your your front your 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 door frame. And once you get the line alignment up there, you make sure that you're pushing this towards your frame and then lock it down. Double check that it's pressing up there, pressing there, your alignment, you're ready to go. Now it will stop automatically stop at the depth that it needs to go for your the depth of your hinge. For the screws. And that one is finished. As I was saying, this is what happens with no area for your shavings to escape from. So you have to deal with that each and every time that you do a, a handle. This is that I don't like. They need to re redesign this part of it. Okay, let's do this one. Got my seven. I guess that'd be millimeters. Lock it down. I'm making sure that the cam's pressed in. Battery's dead. Again, you have to deal with this every time. So that's kind of a drawback. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and cut a slot right here. Maybe a couple of holes back here. It won't change the integrity of the of the uh, the bracket or anything like that so let's test fit one
and have paint on it. And there you have it. That makes life a whole lot easier. So this is my hack. Cut a slot in here. Hopefully that'll force the uh, shavings out and we'll try it out. Give her a try. Well, a little better. <sighs> yeah, a lot better. So that's my uh, jig hack and it works. I still might drill a hole here and a hole here. Let that stuff go everywhere. So here's an update to the app, to the the hack. Cut that in there, and I decided to put a hole here and a hole there. Let's check it out. find it easier to go ahead and do the screw holes first. Now on the hinge side hole, what I do is I'll go in and out, in and out, in and out, all the way down. And voila, <laughs> clean. The other side, make sure my cardboard's out of my way underneath it. Make sure that's on, that's on. Let's tighten it down. Back on the table, screw hole, all the way down. hinge clean 
clean. Hetich needs to make this their uh, their improved version. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I did ten the I did ten doors in about uh, about an hour and fifteen minutes. So there you have it. To me it was worth spending the money on a good jig. As you saw as you can see it was it was very easy to um operate clean um the instructions kind of suck but you know you can work your way through it so if you uh, are planning on doing this i i i would highly highly recommend this this uh this jig i also bought a jig for the uh the handles um maybe i'll do a review on that next hope you guys enjoyed it uh, don't be scared, do it.